Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and our tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very nice and easy technique that you can use to add glow or shine to your portraits in Photoshop. So this is going to make your images look different from the photos you see on the internet or on social media out there. So I'll show you how you are going to get your image from looking like at this to looking like this in just Photoshop. Just look at the before and after and look at how the highlights are popping in this very image and we're just going to go straight into the tutorial and if at all you find the video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so without further ado let's get started with this very nice and educative tutorial so i'm just going to come and i'm going to delete this so in this case we're just going to be using the curves adjustment layer to do or to add that nice and rich glow so i'm just going to come to the adjustments right here and we're going to come to the curves adjustment layer and after creating it make sure you don't do any adjustment on it leave it in its default form so after that we're just going to come to our select option then you're going to come straight to the color range option so it is going to open up the color range dialog box right here so make sure you have sampled colors checked right here make sure you have sampled colors and make sure localized color clusters is not selected and make sure you have your eyedropper tool selected then right here under the preview make sure you have selection activated right here and quick mask selected so with this setup right you're just going to make sure the invert option is also not checked so with this done you can come and you look for an area that has prominent highlights in the image for this case so just come using the eyedropper tool right here that is why we selected it just select it and simply come and click on an area that has a highlight in your image so look for the area that has the prominent highlight so simply left click on that area and as we're clicking on those areas you can see that the targeted areas are going to look a little bit more on the yellow side and they're going to be less of the red color so make sure you click and you select the highlight and in order to see this well you can see the selected areas in the image are going to look white let me just first of all zoom in look at our preview right here our selection you can see a selection right in this window is going to be white in color and you can refine a selection by simply moving the fuzziness you can see this doesn't look okay so you take up the fuzziness up to when it brings up your selection quite well in your image and just stop right there so right now i feel like all the highlights in the image have been selected while i'm looking at this window right here that has the selection mode and after that i'm just going to use the fuzziness of 71 so for your images this may be differing from one case to another so just come and simply press ok on the keyboard so with that done you're just going to simply click in the middle and simply slightly brighten just click in the middle and slightly brighten up just like that and when you do this you can notice that there is a before and after the image is getting that glow but it is not as intense as i showed you at the start of the tutorial so in order to make this really better and look great you're just going to come to the blend mode and you're just going to change it from normal and you're going to come to linear dodge add so you can see this looks okay and now the glow looks a little bit better just look at the before and after so this is the before after before after but uh, the image looks very weird and awkward because it is also having a very unnatural transition from the shadow areas so what we want to do or what would love to do in this case you're just going to come and double click on this curves adjustment layer icon so double click and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box so i'm just going to drag this towards the side so what you have to do just come to the underlying layer and you take away the effect from the shadow areas within the image so simply left click and drag these sliders away from the shadows so just come 
and drag it away from the shadows just like that so when you drag it out from the shadows you can see you stop at the point when your highlights are just starting to look selected in this case so i'm just trying to drag it from the shadows and you can see right now the highlights have now been targeted and they are now selected so in order to refine this we're just going to simply come to this remember we just dragged them towards the highlights and right now the highlights are now targeted and then they are now selected so in order to refine this you can see transition is very harsh so in order to refine this simply if at all you're using windows hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard then if at all you're using mac you can use option and simply split up this right hand slider so hold down the alternate or option and split this just like that and you can see as we're taking it towards this side it is going to fine tune and now we're just going to take this back a little bit until when the transition is blending quite well or until when the transition is blending in a more better and natural way into the image and simply come and press ok and after that you can see a quick before and after before after so when you're done doing this and you feel like you want to intensify the highlights even more you can come and select the curves adjustment layer and press ctrl or command j to duplicate the effect and that is going to intensify the shine within the skin so come to the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity of our second adjustment. So this is okay. So we are just going to put these two in a group by clicking on both and pressing Ctrl Command G on the keyboard. So you can see the before and after for our shine or glow, but it is also affecting the surrounding areas within the image. So in order to refine this, simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard, alternate or option. And click on this layer style dialog box and it's going to invert the effect from affecting the overall image so just come under the brushes right click and get the brush tool and make sure you have selected your soft round brush and the hardness has to be zero meaning it is soft opacity and a flow at 100 percent and right now with this done Come and make sure you have white as the foreground color and you can reset by clicking on these two small boxes right here. Then you can switch between black and red by using X on the keyboard. And when you have white on top, meaning the brush is going to be revealing what was hidden behind the black mask. So just come and paint onto the image to get back or reveal the nice and beautiful glow in the photo. So just paint on. Remember, we just wanted to make the skin glow, so you're basically going to paint on the skin area, and that is going to reveal the nice and beautiful glow on the model's skin. So just look at this, and you can see the before and after, before, after, before and after. So when you feel like this is okay, you can stop right here, and if at all the effect is too much for your liking, just come to the opacity and simply drop down or reduce on the opacity so i'm just going to leave it at 100 percent before after so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you, you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating